Hello YouTube, D. Lewis here, and you are watching the very, very, very first episode of the Three Blog Network. Very. <laughs> very, very, very. Alright, uh, the Three Blog Network is the network that is mine. Uh, the name comes from the three blogs I currently operate. You can see them down below in the info bar. Um, yeah, you can go check those out. That's why it's called that, of course. So you probably want to check that out. Alright, so this first episode is about the Redskins. Now, the Redskins, as we know, just came off a terrible, terrible, terrible loss to the Eagles. Which brings the question, what's this team's issue? Well, they can be great sometimes. We've seen that this year. They've had two NFC East wins, um... So far this year against key opponents, uh, and you know that quality you know has to come from somewhere. But what is to blame when the Redskins break down? Well, there's a lot of things to consider on both sides of the ball. But in this video, I'm hoping to find what is the biggest cause of these Redskins' failures. Well, you could point to the offense first. You could go with Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb. Let's be honest, he's made interceptions in very key parts of very key games often this year, and he just hasn't been himself. He has career lows in a ton of statistical categories, and he just doesn't look like the Donovan McNabb that we could see in Philly. Now, with that all being said, he's still an upgrade over Jason Campbell, who's doing well in Oakland, but I'd say Donovan McNabb still has more class. Uh, not class. You know, playing class. I don't know about personal class or anything like that, but... um think with Donovan McNabb is he provides a deep threat, and that deep threat is sometimes much, much, much needed on offense. Take, for instance, the Philly game. Philly game is awful, awful game, but the first touchdown that the Redskins had, keep in mind, it was a long, long, long throw to Fred Davis that set it up, and then next, I forgot who threw it to, maybe it was Anthony Armstrong, I'm not sure, but that's two long throws there that are very good. All right. But Don McNabb, you know, he's in consideration. The receivers, now the receivers have had, you know, in my mind at least, a lot of drops this year. A lot of drops that, you know, they could keep drives going. That's inexcusable for the receivers. But, you know, there have been light spots. Uh, Anthony Armstrong, very good, um, very good story from the intense football league. Um, he's emerged as one of the top receivers. Santana Moss, he's lost a little bit of his form, but he was having a great season. So, you know, it hasn't been terrible. So I don't think you can really put it on the series. The O-line, no, I don't think you can put it on the O-line at all. They've done their job this year. Guys have stepped up, and while it's not been the greatest O-line in the league, it has been very, very serviceable, and it protected McNabb reasonably well. Again, not a brilliant O-line, but a pretty good one, and Trent Williams is really impressive. All right, now, with the offense out of the way, I think the most thing that you could consider, despite his great qualities, Donovan McNabb, but we'll see. Let's look at the defense. Now, the defense had the roughest go about in Philly. Let's face it, the offense put up 50, I mean, not 50, my bad. The offense put up 28 points, which is not that bad. It was the defense that kind of got shredded. Uh, the secondary, uh, they're getting beat long a lot, and that might be Landry uh, um, over the top and the free safety, Kareem Moore. But you can't really put it on Landry because he provides a great aspect as well with tackling and playmaking. So it leads you with Kareem Moore. We haven't had a, you know, we haven't been able to find the combo this year. Reed Dowdy, Kareem Moore just hasn't really worked. Um, so Kareem Moore, I don't think he's been, uh, you know, he's he's got great hands, great hands. He's not that bad coverage, but they have these one this one play where they just let a big one over the top. All right, D line, D line. I feel the three um, men up top have not created enough sacks. The sacks have come from a rack bow at the back. There has not been enough. We've all known it's been well documented about Hainsworth's issues, but um. They definitely need to get more pressure, and I do think they get overlooked in the blaming process. Um, they need to get more pressure on the quarterback. Um, it, it showed in the Eagles game, Eagles game, at a lot of times, a lot of times they did not get pressure to Michael Vick, and he was able to make plays because of it. All right, linebackers, linebackers, they've been fine with me. Ryan Arakbo has thrived in that role, getting a lot of sacks. Carter, he's had gr a great all-around game. Uh, this year, but he hasn't had you know he hasn't had the sacks. But you know, I mean, sometimes they just won't come. I I, I like him for what he does besides the sacks. Rocky McIntosh getting better every year, and London Fletcher. Well, he's London Fletcher. I don't really see any problem with the linebackers. I think if it's anything, it's the secondary in the D line, more so the D line. But that leaves us. What's what's to blame, the offense or the defense? Well, I'd say it's about um, it's really hard to throw out a number. I'd say it's seventy five percent defense, twenty five percent offense. But you could easily make an argument every week on how that could flip the offense. They have not been explosive enough. They've gone three and out way too many times. Hunter Smith has seen the field way too many times. 
But the defense, of course, I mean, they just got shredded. And they get shredded a lot of games, giving up a lot of yards to a lot of teams. And so right now, I'll give the, uh, the most promise to the defense. They really got to get themselves worked out. But the offense, that doesn't mean they're doing, they're exactly thriving either. All right, so, um, so, so, oh, and one thing, uh, a team that's been doing very, 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 very well for the Redskins has been the special teams. We found Brandon Banks, a young, small, uh, little spark plug who could return it on every play. Brilliant. And also the special teams defense, top notch. Uh, can we turn it around? We sure can. I think it's going to be an 8-8 eight eight season, but if things start falling your way and the offense finds screwed and the defense holds teams down a little bit more than they're doing now, you could definitely be looking at a team that could take a couple wins a couple ways. Well, we're looking at the playoffs then, but I think personally it'll be an 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, The contract extension for McNabb, many people were, um, you know, they were surprised that it was five year, but I think it's the right move. Um... McNabb, if he finds his form, he he's still one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and I really do believe that. Um, but, of course, he's not finding his best form right now, so, of course, you have the comments. You know, maybe it wasn't deserved. It was a bad move. Um, what fans should take from the Eagles' loss? Not a lot. Um, it was a bad, bad, bad performance, but then again, teams can have off days. Um, my prediction for the rest of the season, as you've heard, 8-8. Eight and eight. All right. Um, so, this was the first episode of the 3 Blog Network channel. Um... Make sure to check the vlog at www.youtube.com slash dlewis274, the commentator channel at dlewis275, but that will soon be made into a Chelsea channel, so look out for that. All the news um, regarding the 3 Blog Network you can find on the vlog at dlewis274, and watch me playing video games at playing FIFA. That's the channel name, www.youtube.com slash playing FIFA, www.youtube.com slash dlewis274, and www.youtube.com slash two. And make sure to check out the blogs. And thanks for watching. New episode tomorrow or Sunday. So please look out for that. Make sure to comment, rate, and please, please subscribe and tell your friends about the channel if you like it. And make sure to comment as well. Give me feedback. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.